Well, today we're gonna take apart my uh, Chrysler 300 to install an auxiliary input for the iPod or any MP3 into the factory radio. Uh, I'm not an expert at filming, but I'll try to do this with one hand. This trim comes out. You start by one one corner. lift it a little bit and it comes right out stay sick you have to unplug this little plug from behind and it's out I'm gonna put this face down so we don't scratch it and now we have to take the radio out. Takes four small Phillips screws. One on each corner. We're going to take those out. And the radio should be out. Let's see. Get this last screw. The radio is out. You will notice that on the back of the radio, there is one free connection. That is where we're going to plug our Chrysler O2 AUX in a few minutes. Look, the radio was removed out of the car on, on less than two minutes. Okay, we're going to install the Precision Interface Chrysler O2 AUX. This is very simple. It's just one small plug. This is the interface and this is the cable. We're going to plug this cable into the small plug on the back side of the radio. We're going to plug the other end into the interface. And now we have a set of RCA jacks. Now, on this end, I'm going to plug my RCAs and in the other end I have a 3.5 headphone style right angle. I like right angle better because it doesn't break, it's easier for the iPod or MP3. This is my iPod and this is going to plug right here and I will be able to listen to my mp3s let me move some of these wires okay now we're gonna put this interface behind the radio I'm gonna try you can see there's plenty of space there and we're gonna put the radio back in Kind of difficult with one hand. Never recorded a video before, so I don't have the uh, right equipment. 
to mount the radio. Um, we're gonna test it. Okay. Test this radio first. Make sure everything works. I have to set all my stations again. Radio works. Let's try a CD. CD player works. Now we're gonna press the mode button. The screen changes to 1-1. One, one. We're gonna use the iPad. Make sure everything works. Okay. Now I have my iPad working. It sounds good. I have my CD player working and my AM FM station. So what I did is I just added another source for my iPad. Of course it's just a 3.5 headphone jack so I can use it with my GPS my cell phone, hmm, Pandora music from the cell phone, any um, files that you have on your phone uh, as far as uh, audio files. If you have an iPhone, it will work as well. Okay, I just plug my phone. Let's see, audio. I keep audio books on my phone. Disc 2. Chapter 9. Remove the roadblocks. So it's working. How many times do you think that people try to achieve their new goals before they give up? Let's try... Well, the average is less than one time. Most people give... Let's try Pandora. Somewhere here. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're not gonna waste time with that. I don't know where it is. But uh, the radio's working, the auxiliary input is working. $65 and it was done in a couple of minutes. Now it's just putting all the screws back together, put the AC, and everything is whole with clips. And this was done in in 20 minutes or less okay the radius back in the dash I put all the screws back the way it was run my audio cable on the side I didn't have time uh, I didn't order one of those there's a 3.5 headphone jack that you can mount in your dash drill a little hole but uh, it's the weekend. I'll probably get one next week. They're only ten, fifteen dollars. Uh, so I'm gonna test everything, make sure everything works. Radio works. You press the mode one. CD works. Now you press the mode twice, and it switches. Let me go back. When it's on CD player, it tells you the uh, track. When you press the mode button one more time, it switches to disc one, track one, and it stays there. That's the auxiliary. Now I'm gonna use my iPad. And the iPad is working. I already put my screws. And now I'm just gonna close the dash. I also um, installed uh, since the car comes with only one of those uh, lighter jacks. I installed a second one inside here. I have some pictures. 
uh, to be able to run another uh, cell phone cable and when I'm not using it I'm just gonna hide it in there I have so many extra of these cables they're like three dollars on eBay that I decided to purchase a couple of them and put them inside the dash okay and I will have some pictures also with this <laughs>